All right, guys, so we have the iPhone 7 versus the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Both of these phones, you can find the $200 price range. Uh, I will put the links down below as always. So let's get started with the hardware. Uh, two very nice uh, builds on both of these phones. You have an aluminum uh, design on the iPhone and on uh, the Note 8 Pro. You have a actually a plastic, um, you know, railing on here, but it is a glass uh, back on here. And it's kind of a heavy phone. Definitely definitely much heavier than the iPhone and as you can see a much bigger device as well uh, so as you can see the iPhone just very small compared to the Note 8 Pro uh, here but they both feel really good in the hand and they definitely don't feel cheap uh, they definitely don't feel like they'll break easily if you drop it or something like that the iPhone does have an IP67 uh, dust and water resistant rating uh, but you do not have a headphone jack on the iPhone and you do have one on the Note 8 Pro the fingerprint scanner is on the front on the uh, iPhone and the fingerprint scanners on the back on the Note 8 Pro are both physical and they both work uh, very fast so no issue there all right, so let's talk about one of the biggest differences uh, with both of these phones, and it's definitely the display. So uh, you have an IPS display on both, but uh, you have a 6.53 inch uh, display on the Note 8 Pro uh, versus a 4.7 inch. Uh, so I'm not going to say it's bad to have a smaller display because you could be looking for a more compact phone, uh, but definitely, as you can see, uh, it, the Note 8 Pro just dwarfs the iPhone, and plus the iPhone's design is a little bit outdated uh, to me. You have have just really big bezels on here and as you can see smaller bezels on the Note 8 Pro with a little water drop notch uh, so uh, definitely for design I'm definitely going with the Note 8 Pro here and the display uh, is a 1080p display on the Note 8 Pro 395 for the PPI and you have a pretty much a 720p plus display on the iPhone 7 and uh, it's 326 for the PPI they both actually look really great uh, the iPhone can pull that uh, resolution off because it's such a tiny display uh, but they they both look great uh, it is a higher display uh, resolution on the uh, note 8 pro so you are going to be able to take advantage of that when watching videos and just looking at icons and text and stuff uh, look really good but two great displays but it really comes down to uh, the preference of display size uh, to me but definitely I'm going with the note 8 pro for uh, just the more modern uh, look uh, so let's go ahead and talk about software so you can run the latest version of uh, both of these operating systems Android 10 MIUI 11 on the Note 8 Pro and you also have the latest version of iOS iOS 13.5 uh, so what I would say about software choosing between these phones if you're not completely sold on iOS uh, I do think the Note 8 Pro just has a lot of cool features like the second space uh, you both have dark mode on, on both of these phones but you have stuff like that you have more customization uh, settings on the Note 8 Pro with MIUI 11 there's just a whole bunch of stuff built in screen recorder there is a lot of stuff you can do in these settings to customize and make it the phone feel uh, like yours so as we know iOS is kind of limited with the new iOS 14 update uh, that is going to bring a few customizations to the iPhone 7 but for now uh, you do get more options on the Note 8 Pro now as far as speed the iPhone 7 surprisingly is still just a blazing fast phone with the Apple A10 chip uh, so it is a slight bit faster than the Note 8 Pro with the Helio G90T processor uh, so you have 64 gigs of internal storage on the Note 8 Pro and 6 gigs of RAM. Also micro SD support. On the iPhone you have no expandable storage uh, which kind of sucks and 32 gigs of internal storage. So you have pretty much you know limited storage on the iPhone compared to the Note 8 Pro. And uh, you have 2 gigs of RAM but like I said with the iOS optimization uh, you do not uh, see a whole bunch of lag with this phone at all. It's really buttery uh, smooth and uh, multitasking and everything is just fine on both of these phones actually so uh, for performance uh, they're definitely both great now both of these phones have NFC for your mobile payments uh, so that is awesome as well the iPhone does have stereo speakers but uh, compared to the Note 8 Pro speaker uh, they pretty much sound the same uh, these the stereo speakers aren't super super loud on the iPhone and the one speaker on the Note 8 Pro is actually really good uh, as well so speaker quality is excellent uh, on both here uh, so Let's go ahead and talk about the camera. So uh, you have a 64 megapixel wide on the Note 8 Pro, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro camera for very close up shots, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. It shoots in 4K, uh, 30 FPS, a 20 megapixel selfie camera uh, as well. 
Now on the iPhone, you have a single 12 megapixel camera. It does shoot in 4K, a front-facing camera at 7 megapixels. Uh, and, you know, you are missing a lot of cameras that I guess modern-day smartphones have. Like the ultra-wide is kind of essential now. Uh, the macro camera is pretty fun to play with. Uh, you do not have that on the iPhone. And as far as pictures, uh, pictures are kind of close on here. Uh, what I will say from these comparison shots is that um, the Note 8 Pro does have just much more detail uh, with photos because of the uh, higher megapixels. You just will see a lot of detail uh, when you zoom in and look at stuff. Uh, but the iPhone does seem to be just a little bit more color accurate in these comparisons uh, as well. But it, sometimes it bounces back and forth. So you can get some really good detail on the iPhone with a close up shot. But as far as like, you know, those, uh, you know, stand back shots, uh, I'm definitely seeing way more detail on the Note 8 Pro. Uh, so they're both uh, very, very good at taking photos. Uh, but it just depends on what kind of photos uh, you like to take. Do you like high detail photos or very color accurate uh, photos here? But both are very good for their price ranges still. Now, I actually prefer the iPhone's video. The iPhone just takes really good video for some reason. They always uh, have. So I really like the natural colors. and Everything just looks a little bit more natural looking uh, on the iPhone. So uh, let's go ahead and move on uh, to the battery situation. So. You have a 4,500 milliamp battery on the Note 8 Pro with 18 watt fast charging. On the iPhone, you have a very small battery, uh, a 1,960 uh, milliamp battery on here. And a uh, screen on time, basically you'll get around 7 hours and 30 minutes on the Note 8 Pro. I did a battery drain test on that. And on the iPhone, um, you can get like, I'm getting like at least like four or five hours of uh, screen on time and it really depends on how heavy you use it uh, but as you can see big difference in battery life definitely uh, superior battery life on the Note 8 Pro here uh, so that is pretty much it two excellent smartphones like I say if you're not completely sold on iOS and uh, FaceTime and iMessage if you don't need those I really like the Note 8 Pro I think it's definitely uh, the better buy here so what do you guys think be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one